I'd say the challenges for animation are the, the demand from the platform, I mean from the digital platform, because they have expectation in animation that is becoming to be far different from the one from television. They're definitely looking for a diversity, a variety of uh, storytelling. So one of the challenge, one of the things that excites us very much is that um, we might work for them for preschool, we might work for them for kids, but also we're starting to developing new stuff that are more adult driven or family oriented. We've bought the rights from a, a, a best, an English bestseller called Listen to the Moon from Michael Mopogo, which is more a drama than a comedy, which is new in animation somehow, which you know, the idea is to target the whole family. And uh, we're also trying to develop more like really adult type of material because as you know, Netflix or those kind of platform are heavily consumed by youngsters. And uh, those, that generation is very much into adult animation. They love that. So it's that an interesting challenge. It's probably something that the animation community has been waiting for a very long time. And it seems the right moment now to pitch this. And in terms of film, I mean, there is a huge boom when it comes to family comedy, but we can sense that something else is, uh, is coming where there might be some place for kind of a adult stories that can be told through animation. We've developed for a very long time and carefully a story called uh, I Lost My Body, which is kind of an odd pitch. Most of the story is actually like in a day-to-day -day life. You know, it's like, almost like a rom-com, you know, with the fantasy elements. And uh, it's been selected in Cannes, it won a grand prize at the Wigs Critic, and it's in competition here, and Netflix bought it. A lot of things are happening around that film. Well, we're addressing the changes uh, in several ways. Um, first, we are in terms to, to attract the talent. We've set up a new organization in the studio, which is more collaborative, which is more collective. You know, this new generation has a hard time identifying themselves with a the company. So if you want their company to be successful with that generation, you have to bring them a way of working that satisfies their, their needs, their demand for something that is more collective, more mind-spirited. That's one way of doing it. And uh, as for the rest, we're also looking for a different type of talent. Uh, right now, I'm a you know, I'm searching very deeply into the short form uh, because that's where we think those new storytellers are going to come from because they're less formatted as some people from television might be. And uh, this experience we've done with the film and Jeremy Clapin, the director coming from short, has been extremely uh, positive and encouraging. So we, we hope to keep on following that same model. We've been growing up We've been growing, sorry, uh, very heavily for the past four or five years. I mean, we've pretty much tripled the volume of production we do, which is a lot. And, um, and it's getting more and more difficult to hire a new team. And so right now we're more into an external growth you know, strategy. Uh, we try to buy what we call boutique studio, which are established team, very successful technically and artistically does not necessarily have assets, but a very strong know-how, technology-wise and artistic-wise. And uh, we, want, we want to help them grow their own ideas, bring them into the worldwide markets, doing the distribution, and that'll help to us to uh, nourish the library and uh, bring more hits to the world. Well, as every year in MIFA, uh, there is the recruitment is an important aspect of the thing. Then there is the networking with the partners, whether broadcasters, theatrical distributors and all of that. This year is a bit specific because we have a film in competition. So it's kind of uh, special. And we also have a television series, Mr. Magu, in competition as well. So it's a very special year for Xilam. And we're quite excited to be there with all of that prospects.